I'm Brian Fissel. I'm an orthopedic surgeon with Premier Care Orthopedics, which is a division of Signature Medical Group. Uh, and today I'm going to talk to uh, you guys about the uh, anterior total hip replacement. This is a hip replacement that is done through, the, through an incision in the front of the hip along the front of the thigh, as opposed to the more traditional uh, methods where the incision's on the side of the hip or uh, in the back of the hip. This hip replacement is done for the uh, similar indications that any hip replacement would be done for, including arthritis of the hip that is painful and some traumatic conditions and fractures about the hip. The uh, symptoms that usually precede getting a hip replacement are pain, uh, usually in the groin area, that's worse with activity. Sometimes there's popping and catching about the hip. Oftentimes we try conservative management first, uh, including anti-inflammatories, sometimes injections and activity modification. And when those have uh, failed, uh, then it's time to proceed with the hip replacement. The goal of a hip replacement is to uh, restore the anatomy about the hip with the replacement uh, so that you can continue to lead a active lifestyle with uh, minimal pain around the hip. The more traditional approaches involve an incision on the side of the hip or uh, the back of the hip, which uh, then in order to uh, see into the hip joint during the surgery, some muscle has to be uh, released off the top of the thigh bone and around the hip joint. This is repaired at the end of the surgery, but uh, it can cause uh, a longer uh, recovery and uh, more initial disability and pain. Through an anterior hip replacement, the incision is made in the front of the thigh in front of the uh, hip joint and uh, instead of releasing the muscle off the bone, we uh, go between muscles. Therefore, this causes less uh, damage and trauma to the muscles and the surrounding tissue, uh, leading to a potentially quicker uh, recovery. There's less restrictions early on with your mobility. After a traditional hip replacement, uh, you have to prevent yourself from bending at the waist more than 90 degrees, crossing your legs, and uh, in order to try and prevent uh, the hip from dislocating or popping out of socket. With the anterior hip replacement, uh, we don't need to uh, place these restrictions on the patient as the hip uh, is more stable since we're going from the uh, front of the hip. The other advantage of doing it uh, through the uh, anterior approach uh, involves using the x-ray machine during uh, surgery, which allows us to place the uh, components of the hip replacement in good position and have uh, immediate feedback and confirmation that they are in good position. Uh, the, with the x-ray machine, we can make sure the, the socket and the, uh, the ball are uh, lined up well and in good position to try and lower the uh, complication rate and to provide for a long lifespan of that hip replacement. Generally the surgery is uh, undergone in a hospital under general anesthetic. You spend about two to three days in the hospital. Uh, you're mobilized with a physical therapist on the first day after surgery. You're able to put weight on the leg uh, immediately after surgery and uh, uh, generally, your rehab is continued at home after those first two or three days with a home physical therapist uh, working on uh, strengthening the leg and uh, walking. Uh, generally, you have a walker for the first week or two and then a cane for a week or two and then uh, no assistive devices. Overall, the general full recovery of full strength and uh, activity can take anywhere from one to three months after a hip replacement. If you would like more information, or have any uh, questions regarding the anterior hip replacement, uh, you can call 314-849-0311 and visit me at our South County office, and I would be happy to discuss it with you.